The court proceedings involving Chief Election Officer Keith Lowenfield, Region 4 District Returning Officer Claremont Mingo, and PNCR Executive Valda Lawrence for their alleged criminal conduct during the election period may take some time. Speaking with the Department of Public Information attorney at law Glenn Hanneman said while the parties await a ruling on what type of trial will be required, the defense is seeking to have the trial by judge and jury, which may take longer. The law is that the magistrate is the person who ultimately makes that ruling about the where the trial should take place and be concluded. Um, so the defense in this case has taken the, the unusual stand that they are more interested in the matter being tried by a jury. Um, that procedure will most likely take more than five years and it will cause substantial delays in the trial of the matter. So the prosecutors are pressing very hard for the matters because it is more convenient, it is more efficient for the matters to be done purely in the magistrate's court we are pressing for that to be done. Charges against the accused were first filed by private individuals, following which the matter was taken over by the Director of Public Prosecutions, Ms. Shalimar Ali Haq, and more than 20 charges filed against the trio. Defense attorney Mr. Nigel Hughes then wrote the DPP asking for her intervention to determine whether those matters should go forward or be withdrawn. The DPP then requested all information from Mr. Hanneman and after these were reviewed, she ordered the Guyana Police Force to conduct additional investigations. At the end of those investigations, the private matters were overtaken by the filing of police criminal complaints and those were instituted instead. In we are at a stage where the court, the magistrate court, has not decided as yet formally whether these matters will be proceeding summarily, meaning purely in the magistrate's court, or whether she will just be taking evidence in the form of depositions in the magistrate's court to determine whether there is sufficient evidence for a judge and jury to try these matters perhaps more than five years from now. Mr. Hanneman noted that there is some misconception in the media about the statements not being filed. However, he said this cannot be done at this time as a mode of trial has not been determined as yet. He noted that the prosecution has volumes of statements that are ready to be served, but they must follow the legal procedure. Meanwhile, the attorney noted that it is unusual that the defense is exposing the clients to possible life sentences based on the preferred mode of trial. The magistrate's court can, has a limit to the amount of imprisonment that they could um, sentence someone to. Five years is usually the, the upper limit. But if, if as a defense lawyer you, you're asking for, uh, in these matters in particular, these, these accused can get life imprisonment, and the defense is saying that they would prefer for these matters to be tried before judge and jury, I mean, I'm hoping that they've discussed this with their clients and that the clients understand by, that by taking that stand, they are now going to be exposed to a, a lot higher sentence. Apart from Mr. Hanneman, there are five other prosecuting attorneys, Ganesh Hira, George Thomas, Daniel Anthony, Donovan Rangia, and Mark Conway. The cases were divided in three, with two attorneys for each group. Mr. Hanneman is urging citizens to exercise patience with this case.